the former proper friends uh, today i am going to uh, tell you something about the ab o blood group what is actually ab and o blood group so here we have the basics uh, first of all blood group antigens are actually the sugars attached to the red blood cell called the uh, membrane and antigens are bent on to the red here's the plasma membrane of the rbc having some antigens which are generally a carbohydrates on the surface which decides either the blood group is a b a b or o individuals inherit a gene which codes for the signal specific sugar and which is added on the plasma membrane chain and this decides a b a b and o blood group the type of sugar added determines the blood group so here this is the basic the abo antigens are the complex organ cells present on the most cell of the body on the membrane of rbc the oligosaccharides that determine specific nature of the abo antigen join either to the ceramide where the substances are the glycophospholipids or to the polypeptide backbone of the protein via serine or thiamine chain where the substances are the glycoproteins in the formation of the a and b antigen h molecule which is coded by the h gene here the first one which is coded by the h gene and act as a precursor if h molecule is found in it is which is found in every individual does it it doesn't show any attachment of sugar that will become the blood group o and in case of the a and b gene h contains additional and acetic and acetyl galactose among similarly in case of b antigen additional galactose is linked to the h molecule and this addition of the terminal and acetyl glucosamine sorry galactosamine or galactose which is characterized by, by certain enzymes so for addition of the n acetyl galactosamine n acetyl galactosamine transferase is there and for galactose it is galactose galactose transferase so individuals of type ab process both enzymes and thus have a and b both antigens and the individuals of the type o contain only h molecule no such enzymes are present so no a and b gene no b and b gene anti a anti bodies are directed to the additional and acetyl galactosamine residue so the person which is who is having the blood group a it, when it comes in contact with anti a it shows immunogenicity and in case of anti b vice versa so here the h a b and both are present then it is ab so here's the next which is the landsteiner's rule the individuals will form immune antibodies to ab o blood group antigen they do not possess means simply if you are having the blood group a then you don't have anti a substances are present in nature which are so similar to blood group antigens which result in the constant production of the antibodies to blood group antigens they do not possess again the same thing the critical for the understanding the compatibility between a b and o blood group so here this mainly this oligosaccharide residue this decide which type of incompatibility will be there so what is the clinical significance of the antibody so immunization we all know immunization so for example hepatitis b hepatitis virus and here once you receive the hepatitis b immunization the actual bits of hepatitis virus is injected body recognizes as a foreign and produces the immune antibody and subsequent exposure to the real hepatitis b virus will result in destruction of virus by immune antibodies so previous exposure which is there in active immunization is required so ab antibodies are the immune and will result in destroying incompatible cells which may result in death of the recipient so in case of this if there is a inheritance the blood group antigens are codominant and if the 
gene is inherited, it will be expressed. Some aberrant genotypes do not occur, but due to their rarity, will not be discussed. So, understanding of the basic inheritance in case of ABO blood grouping is important. So, genetics. If the two genes are he inherited, and one from each of the parent, the individual who is A or B may be homozygous or heterozygous for advantageous. The heterozygous is AO, BO, while in case of homozygous is AA or BB. Phenotype is the actual expression of the genotype, for example, group A. And genotype are the actual inherited genes which can only be determined by family studies like AO. So here, here you can see the mom's phenotype is group A and genotype is AO, but diet phenotype is group B and the genotype is BO. So what is the possibility? The child may be AB, AO, BO and OO. So here all four possibilities are there and all of them having the same ratio. So other examples, AA and BB, 100% the child offering will be AB. So here and so on. Now next, blood group O. Approximately 45% of the population is high in blood group O. No A or no B antigens are present, only H. This individuals form potent anti-A and anti-B antibodies which circulate in the blood plasma while in case of blood group A it is of 40 percentage and they contain potent anti-B antibodies and same blood group B 11 percentage of the population and it contains anti-A while in case of blood group AB they do not contain any type of antibody just A and B antigens are present and hemolysis it is a process of breakdown of RBC. What happens here? If the individual is transferred with an incompatible blood group, destruction of the RBC will take place. This may result in the death of the recipient. And here's the summary. The blood group, which on which type of antigen is present on cell, and the which type of antibody is present in plasma, and which um, transfusion can be possible. Which transfusion can be possible? So blood group A, they are having antigen A, anti B, and A on A or O, and so on. Now, B antigen. The importance is the recess type. The term Rh is the misnomer. Rh is the blood blood group system which many antigens, and one of them is the antigen D. So here the again the same thing. A recess is the just name. It is the antigen D. Recess refers to the presence or absence of the D antigen on RBC side. So, unlike the ABO blood group system, individuals who lack D antigen do not naturally make it. The production of antibody D require the exposure to the antigen. Uh, as in case of uh, blood group A, it is having the antigen A and the anti D. But in case if you are having antigen D, that doesn't mean that you don't have sorry uh, if you don't have antigen d that doesn't mean you have anti d the d antigen is very immunogenic and the individual exposed to it will very likely to make an antibody to it for this reason all individuals are type for d with the negative must receive rsd negative blood the most important patient population to consider is the females of childbearing age if they immunize to the RSG antigen, the antibody can cross placenta and this can destroy the RSG positive fetal. So this is why the RSG negative women are given rojan after birth of the RSG positive baby. And now hemolytic disease of the newborn, how it occurs? If suppose the child is RSG positive, B during pregnancy, fetal RH positive RBCs came to the maternal circulation. Now, mother produces the RHD antigen. And the second pregnancy, which RH positive child. And remember, now mother, as we considered in C point, mother is having the RHD antibodies 
okay so here if the rhd positive child will be there then destruction of the fetal rhd positive rbc is take place and hemolysis will be there so now the blood typing how we can detect the blood group so there are two components the blood typing test the unknown cells with known antibodies and test the unknown serum with known rbc's the patterns are compared with the blood group as determined the slight slight blood typing very rudimentary method for determining the blood group cannot be used for the transfusion process as false positive and negative do occur false positive when the agglutination occurs not because of the antigen is present but cells may already crumbled here in this case the cells are already already crumbled in this test what happens that uh, crumbling and the aggregation of the cells are checked so here if the cell is previously crumbled and aggregated it may give false positive and in case of false negative due to the dense higher density high density it may not come it is crumbled but you may not show so false negative is also positive possible the slide blood typing continued the slide is divided into the house and one side a drop of anti a is added this will attach to and cause clumping of the rbc corresponding to a antigen on the other side drop of anti b is added which will cause clumping of rbc with p antigen the drop of rbc is added on each side and mix with reagent the slide is tilted back and the first for one minute and the observed for agglutination or clumping so here the observation in this case if an rbc contains a antigen red blood cells with agglutinated by nta and would not be by ntb while in case of ntb serum if blood group contains b antigen it will be agglutinated by b uh, ntb and would not be by nta so for group a here's the for left hand side is for nta and right hand side is the ntb and for blood group b same again left hand side is the nta it it actually contains the b antigen so clumping is seen on the right side and in case of o no clumping because it doesn't contain any type of antigen and while in case of blood group ab it shows clumping in both so summary of the slide type phenotyping here is the nta and db and the blood group so if both are negative the blood group is o if with nta and db nta is the positive and nta is negative then blood group is a and so on thank you